I do not fear the walrus. I am the walrus. Woo! I am the walrus. I want to do a <laughs> your mama joke. With the last moment on my earth. I love the human race. I think I'll just die. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'd rather die than lose my dignity. I don't need to make your comfortable <laughs> in my last. This is about me. There's this famous story about this is Islamic poet mm -hmm. and him and his friend are, are escaping this tribe that's pissed off at them and they're chasing them through the desert. And is this how you do chase people? This is chasing you through the desert. Okay. The and, sign language for chasing you through the desert. And his enemies can't catch up to him because he's got a fast camel and he's moving. Mm -hmm. and that camel is moving. And they start screaming at him, your poetry sucks. You're a terrible poet. You're, you're, you're a hack. And he stops. And he turns around and takes out his sword and charges at me. Totally gets killed. That's art. That's that so is, bad that, at. That, that is, is a true that artist. That is a bad ass. I'm going to take out my knife and go charge. Like, and I'm then, unstable. He was away. He was already away. And he's just like, yeah. what'd you say about my poetry? Respect, motherfucker. <laughs> mother Respect. No, it's dumb, but it's like. It's, I can do dumb. It's so the ancient way of thinking, like. I'd rather die than lose my dignity or my honor or, or have you insult my art. And that kind of person will never be around again. That is something you lose when you move into the modern era. But I gotta respect it. I respect it. I wouldn't do it. I'm always about survival. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. But if death was inevitable, I'd talk some sh on my way out. You know, when Socrates was, he was... Wait, they were like, "Yeah, you're a dick. We don't like you anymore. You, you, we're gonna, you're gonna die." And all, and like all his friends came to him. They're like, "Look, we can bribe the judge. We can get you out of here." And he's like, "No, I'm not gonna run. Don't bribe the judge. No, I yeah. want to. I like." And he was very, he was an old man. He's like, "Look, I'm an old man. I'm going to die. So I might as well die this way, and not be a." Pl and that's why people still talk about the philosophy of Socrates, because he wasn't a <laughs> That's true. what he's known for. You yes. Know, in my sophomore year in high school, I remember the unit on Socrates and my teacher sitting down and be like, you know who wasn't a p <laughs> This dude called Socrates. Let me tell you all about him. But to be more technical, that is an argument from ethos. There is a there is a way to make an argument that doesn't matter how reasonable or logical it is or how passionate it is, logos from pathos, mm -hmm. you can make an argument based on your character. Talk about all three, because I love that you explained this to our first grader and she uses it <laughs> against us. And I'm like, Too good at if it. you're philosophizing at seven, I, I guess I'm we're not working that worried on, We're about. working on ethos right now. <laughs> she got out of being grounded yes. on an ethos argument and we just went, you know what that is, so she, and she uses I don't it care correctly. that you didn't clean up your crayons. But it's it's fun, you know. All right, they, break it, break it. You have to define for the people first. That's for true, all fourteen yeah. of our viewers. Yes, you've already heard me babble about this before, but rhetoric used to be something that was taught in school or whatever their version of school was, mm -hmm. and it is so important, even in the modern context, to to talk good to talk good to talk Listen, good talk good that's what good at english good at talking that is the literal skill the gat score your gat score like how good at talking are you yeah. and people who are good at talking even if they're talking complete bullshit yeah will go very far and will strangely enough go farther than people who are bad at talking but are competent, smart, reasonable, moral. Like, Got if, it. if you're ruthless and good at talking, like you are guaranteed to do fine in, on planet Earth. Like you'll be all right. Teach the children, my love. <laughs> be I'm a not, horrible human being. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it works. Okay. But rhetoric, you know, there there was a whole unit of, of thinking around rhetoric and different techniques. I think there was like 200 classical rhetorical strategies that people would be educated in. And they all kind of break down to arguments from logos, from pathos, and ethos. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, it, 
Logos is an argument from logic or reason, mm -hmm. or what we call reason, but not really. Because there is a, a classical Aristotelian logic, which, which is... I love you. What? I, when you said those three names in my head, I, I started to sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, those logos. Yes, that's good. And then you just said the words you said, and it just struck me that I'm singing head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and you're talking about architect some word i have like aristotelian logic versus <laughs> logic in the colloquial sense yes and we had is, an, we literally had an argument about that once because you're like that's logical i'm like no that's not logical because you were talking about colloquially and i was talking about it from an aristotelian sense but we did but it was i'm a sapiosexual this is really turning me off <laughs> I'm a sapiosexual, we can be flexible, baby girl, I'll make your mind come in. But Wittgenstein was right, because we didn't define our terms first, we were in a disagreement. Without... Oh my god, I cannot go backwards and have this fight with you. <laughs> I won't, I won't, I won't. I'm not doing this. Right. Make but, it fun, but, make it fun! But most of the ways of making an argument are either from logic, or from pathos, or passion, mm -hmm. or from ethos, from an argument from character. Got it. So it's like... Like I can, ethics. Yeah. Well, not ethics. It's more like character. Like if I say, you should loan me $10 because I have a credit score of 800 and I am likely to pay you back. That's an argument from Logos. If I say, you should lend me $10 because you love me and that $10 will make me happy. That's from passion. Mm -hmm. And if I say from ethos, it would be, you should lend me $10 because... I am of good character and you can trust me to pay you back. I want a sex worker to be in a sting <laughs> and say the officer, this is an ethos <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> Listen, it's my passion argument. I was just trying to give passion. What were we talking about? Does it matter? <laughs> Do we ever stay on topic? Faffing about. We, Faffing about. That's our jam. I do feel like we always come full circle, like a good comedy where that line that starts yes. you end with, but we go all over. It's a journey with us. It's let, a journey. let us take you on a journey, my let friend. Let us take you on. But, oh yeah, now I remember. Socrates is remembered because he wasn't a. And Original his, point. His argument, you know, he made tons of logical and passionate arguments in his philosophy, but what is. What makes people want to read Socrates was the fact that he wasn't a put Because when it came down to it, he's like, I believe I am a philosopher. I'm a lover of truth. And the truth, and if I had to lie to get out of this jam so I don't drink hemlock, I'm, I'm, my ethical, you know, my ethos argument is I don't really believe what I'm saying. Like, I'd rather die yeah. than not be real. When keeping it real goes wrong. Give me some skin, huh? Though he could have ignored the simple comment his mentor made, Vernon decided to keep it real. Get your motherfucking hand out of my face. <laughs> okay. Today, Vernon works at Sonny's Filler Up on Route 80 in New Jersey. Like, it doesn't matter how well I say something if I can't even convince myself. Like, does it matter? Nothing. So he's remembered for not being a Plato was a Plato was a person. You know, every time put people put a little pressure on him, he caved. <laughs> if he followed his own philosophy, he would have realized that he penis deserved car. it. What's that? It's a penis car. What's a penis car? Where? It looks like the car the ambiguously gay dude. Oh, I love that! I love Robert Schmeigel. He's the best. The ambiguously gay, gay duo. duo. The ambiguously gay duo. The ambiguously gay duo. They are taking on evil. Come what may. They are fighting all crime to save the day. Can't keep this up, lifetime companion. Let's go for the break. Work it, Ace! Oh, that was great. I really wish that was brought back. If I ever get famous and I go on SNL, the whole thing is just gonna be all the old school <laughs> skits I used to like. I'm bringing back Cowbell. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more Cowbell. <laughs> Church lady. Well, isn't that special? 
Ooh, as we played it. Ooh, big sweaty balls. Big, sh big oh, sweaty sh wiener. Sweaty balls. Shweddy. Well, there's no beating my balls. <laughs> They're made from a secret sweaty family recipe. No one can resist my sweaty balls. Basically, anything Kristen Wiig did. I'm having a panic attack, too. <laughs> Panic attacks, having a panic attack. It's called a panic anic attack. It's worse. <laughs> She's a vampire from the 1500s wearing something from Chico's. What the fuck? Wardrobe is worse than the shit you see at like the local Ren Fair. I'm like, you're just not trying, and yeah, I'm not you watching you. Did you just go movie. to Wet Seal and not get a fit correct? Like, what? This is Forever 21 shit. This is a this is a movie. Like, this is a 10 million dollar movie that that chicks. She's a fucking hole in her pants. What's going on? <laughs> like, and not on purpose. She's a 15th century vampire wearing shit off the rack? Yeah, come what on. The fuck? Off the rack? Off the rack? What is this drag race? Rue's got to scream about H&M. Outfit off the rack was a huge disappointment to me. It is from H&M. You better glitter the fuck out of it and make it something special. Don't waste my time. I don't want to see any fucking H&M. Exactly. Like, you might be famous now, but you will not be remembered if you are a p The guy who said, you don't like my poetry, and then got himself sorted to death, is remembered. Socrates drinking the hemlock is remembered. Because he wasn't a p It's like, I believe this enough to literally die. This is good coffee. Isn't this good coffee? <laughs> That license plate is just corn. <laughs> C-O-R-N. If it was K, I would appreciate it If it was K, it we'd have to go Warhammer again. Yes. There's corn. He's... There is not a god called corn. That's what the band named like their the band. Like the backwards K? Yeah. Well, that's All the... day I dream about sex? C yes, corn with a K. It, they stole that from War... Well, they didn't steal it, but it's an homage to uh, Warhammer. They're I could see the long hair, the Adidas suits, doing Dungeons and Dragons, like, it's nah, it's the nah, ultimate nah. nerd stuff. He went to the DMV, stood in line for two hours. Paid extra for that. Paid $300. Yeah. And it's like, what's your, uh... What's meaningful to you? What do you want to represent? I like corn. Like, of all the vanity plates, like, is he a farmer? I have two theories. Okay, I want to hear all of them. Theory number one. Yes. Uh, he's he really just likes corn. <laughs> no, and I don't think that's it. That's theory number one. Yeah. Number two. I have a theory too. I have a theory. I have a theory. I've got a theory that it's a demon. I've got a theory some kid is dreaming. I've got a theory we should work this out. Okay, what's yours and then I'll go. Number two, he collects psychic energy from other people's attention. And by having an inscrutable license plate, he is now absorbing our psychic energy and charging himself up. Because we're sitting there saying- I can't top that. That what? is exactly what is happening. He's a psychic wizard. He's a wizard. Who feeds on attention. And every time someone goes, huh, and has a little something to say about his license plate, he gets a little charge. But that he's not is like exactly, a, yeah, that's, that's the only explanation. But he's not like an evil one. He's like, I'm not gonna be like a horrible influencer and try to get the worst attention. I'm just gonna puzzle people's mind and then have a little meal of their psychic energy. Sponsored by Corn. Corn. <laughs> Brought to you by the Corn Association of America. Ka. <laughs> we are sponsored today by Ka. Sponsored by the International Association of Psychic Vampires. <laughs> I would get sponsored by I that. would, I would too. We're not here to drink your blood. We're here for your attention. Corn. And we got it through corn. Oh We're God. harvesting. If you were a psychic vampire, this would be the era for you to live you in. You would thrive. You would have a giant brain. Like, you would be stuffed every minute of every day. Yeah. Yep. You do a little TikTok dance and absorb all that energy. Maybe that's what influences really are. Psychic vampires? Psychic vampires. I think so. Every time they get a viewer, like, that's a little hit. They're all psychic vampires. I think that's exactly right. Should we just not go where we're going today and just limerence this guy, this Ford Explorer? <laughs> we're still following I him. I need to know where he's going. We just got off the exit and he's in front of us. He's I just... still going our way. I'm going to go my way. 
We're gonna follow him as long. Oh wait, he's taking the lap. I, I'm not gonna stock the corn man. Okay, he's, he's going to his, Dunkin' Donuts. He's I can't. He's his, done to me. It's a woman. <gasps> That's even more surprising. She is the most low-key psychic vampire I've ever seen. We looked at that house. To I buy. know. We were almost close to getting that. Remember Gosh, that little house? That was house? such a weird little joint. Oh my god, house hunting was so weird. There's so many weird little houses. Especially in people... our price range. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we did not look at any normal houses. There was, it was like this is a tiki bar, but every roof line is like this. We have to walk down a hallway. You have to and walk go, down this way. Like, but it's got a tiki bar. But it's got a tiki bar. Thank God for my mom. Because Thank God for your mother. Because she's like, where where the fuck is it a park? And we're like, oh. oh. Did you see the tiki bar? She's like, this driveway is eight miles long. You have to plow it. Like, we're like, wait, what? You're really focusing on bad stuff. Yeah, but did you see that they painted a jungle theme on the wall? Yeah, like, did, she's like, bitch, that's paint. Bitch, it's paint. Hire a muralist. Your cousin can come in and draw giraffes on the wall. Get something reasonable. I remember we looked for houses for forever. Yeah. And that, because we did not have a lot to choose from. No. And that was 12 years ago. Yes, remember? We're like, look at the size of this fireplace. Like, we could fit here. Let's live here. Like, the house is falling apart, but we like, the entire wall of the dining room <laughs> is a walk-in fireplace. A walk-in fireplace. That's You're a like, crematorium. It <laughs> doesn't have a closet. It's falling apart. But like, did you see this fireplace? A walk-in fireplace? There's another house. I'm like, it's, it's got a beautiful open kitchen. And then we're like, yeah, but the house is kept up on jacks. It's literally sitting on jacks under the house. <laughs> Is that a pole? Oh no, that's a jack. Yeah, the house. The what, what's the jack holding up? Oh, the house. We almost bought that one, and then the house inspector guy's like, "Okay, All so of in the, the attic, more mold than I've ever seen in my entire life. There's a breed of mold that hasn't is not <laughs> found on this earth. That's not found on this earth. It actually started talking to me. No. Ah! The wall had coalesced into a face and goes, "Hello." Welcome to Mold Universe. I, I, if there is a demon in the house, I might actually live there. The, but... the, the living area was beautiful, except for the walk-in fireplace. Yeah. Where, and the guy was like, do you ever want to have a kid? He's like, do you know how you're going to fire, <laughs> how you're going to childproof that? And we're like, no, we're going to have to build a fence. <laughs> uh, surround our kid with asbestos. So yeah, they don't There's burn. lead everywhere. There's lead everywhere. And then he's like, here, come look under the house. You see how the house is being held up by these metal jacks? Yeah. And have been held up probably for 20 years by Jax. The most real real estate agent, I dug him. He's like, oh no, this is a nightmare. Like, like, wait, you're trying to sell it, right? Every once in a while, though, we were like, someone would like us. And they'd be like. Yeah, they're like, oh, you're kind of cool. Like, go run, cool. girl. You're You're kind of nice. You need to run. Yeah. There's this better <laughs> listing down the street. I'm not supposed to tell you that. But like, girl, you 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 made me laugh a little bit. Like, all, you seem all the like, less. You seem like nice people. Yeah, I'm going to save you $500 <laughs> on a home inspection. And just, just give just, it to you real. Just run. Just run. <laughs> Your cute little couple girl, run. We had, we were so excited because we were coming from an apartment. We chose the, like we spent three months narrowing it down. Way more. Six months. Okay. And it was fun at first, but then we we're like, all right, we got it narrowed down. We chose the worst houses. And we were like, let's have Grammy, you know, let's have my mom just kind of take a look at him and see, you know, just to get her thoughts. Just to get her thoughts. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And she, no, she was so nice. She's like, oh, this is lovely. Cause she didn't know if we we're going to be dumb and buy it or not. Like the first one, she's like, well, you know, that driveway is, is about 300 yards long. And, and, at and, an and angle like this, you need to, you need to be an Alpine climber yep. to go up it. Mm -hmm. Did you know that it snows in Massachusetts? <laughs> Did you know that? And she, she, well, she didn't even say that. She said, who does the plowing? For it, and we're like, oh, I guess we'll just shovel it. Three hundred yards of vertical. Yeah, and yeah, it goes like yeah, this. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll just shovel it. Yeah. And then she says to you, she says, "Well, you know, imagine you want to like walk with the kids, or you know, if you have kids, you want." There's no sidewalk. There's no sidewalk, and the the street is basically a highway. Do you want? Do you want your children to? to die? <laughs> I, think I think you're going to be a good mom. I don't think you want your kids to die. I think she turned to you and she go and I think she said, I think in the winter time you'd kind of be trapped in this house. I and I and you're just with the baby. <laughs> and I went, you're trapped in here with the baby. I went, I guess it's a no. We're like, thank you. Thank you. 
And then she did the Then scene. the tiki house. We're like, but it's got a tiki bar in the back. And she's just like. She's like, yeah, it does. The living room has a hole in it. Though. Has a hole in it. <laughs> and a giant wood stove that, again, was like a burning hot piece of metal in the yeah. middle of the room. You're going to have a baby. Where? What is the baby going to do with the giant burning hot stove? She didn't need to focus on that. Cross that one out. I like the Littleton one where she looked and she's like, so the heating system is pellets? And I'm like, what? <laughs> yes. And the woman's like, you just buy these little pellet these things. These little pellets. And I'm like, how does that heat the house? And I looked into it and they're like really toxic and incredibly expensive. Yeah, wood pellets. It was like, do you want to heat your house through the winter? That'll be $10,000. And they were all so proud. They were like, oh, and there is air conditioning in it. And we're like, oh, it's got central AC. They're like, no, it no. has a swamp cooler. Yeah. And we're, we're What's, a, What's swamp a swamp cooler? cooler? <laughs> I'm like, that sounds like mold. Do you have any hobbies? I collect spores, molds, and fungus. I was Waiting. like, but look at the closet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need heating or cooling. It has a walk-in closet though. <laughs> like, yes. like, I don't need to worry about the out. summer or the winter. She liked the one we put an offer in, and then she's like, then we're like, oh, yeah, there's a lot of mold in the attic. And she's like, oh, no, yeah, you can't buy that one. That one she wasn't even like, she's like, no, you can't, no. She just held my hand. She's like, oh, well, you're going to die. You're going to die. But, but slowly. <laughs> but slowly. So it, it's a no. It's a no. You're no. going to have my grandbabies. So you're going to have my grandbabies, and I don't want them to die. I don't want moldy grandbabies. Yeah, let me let me tell my daughter-in-law in a nice way she's a crazy bitch. I'm like, mm, But no. I was just as crazy. Like, And then the last and one. And then she's just like, do you guys need money? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, no, we're actually good. We just have really bad ideas. and, and Horrible <laughs> ideas. Then we showed her the one that was from the 1820s. I love that but, one. Oh, I love that one. But it's like, we're people who can't hang a picture. We couldn't hang a shelf. And this was like, half of it's sinking into the earth. Yeah. The other half is haunted. But it I is... I like that about it. I was like, it's a definite... It was from the 1800s. It was beautiful. A Victorian. It was absolutely haunted. It was absolutely haunted. It had it was 37 grand. rooms. It was cheap. It was like, there's a reason it's super cheap. Because you need to put about a million dollars worth of work into it. <laughs> And honestly, if I knew anything about restoring, like, that would have been, it was so cool, but we're like, we can't hang shelves. If I had been so... an employee of this old house for 10 years, yeah. that was the perfect house for me. If Bob Vila and I were like <laughs> this, we'd be, absolutely. But I'm like, oh God, I really want to live in a haunted mansion they're like there is in fact a skeleton in one of the rooms we, yeah. or the walls we can't find it yeah there's there's been several deaths several in deaths. questionable ways we think there might be a hellmouth in the boiler room but no one will go in there so yeah. we're not sure it comes with its own sacred sword mm -hmm. for fighting demons mm -hmm. It was the coolest house. I would live there in a second what? if I just was a different person with completely different skills. Not right. We would have ruined it, it too. It ain't right, but it's okay. It's not right, but it's okay. If we bought it, it would be... We'd be dead. We'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, they would find our bodies in it. <laughs> but maybe the next owner... I would totally haunt that house too. Yeah. We would either be dead, we would have killed each other, or well, that could still happen. The house would have literally, like, it would just be the fir the top floor because the rest would have sank into the earth. It would be like some we sort of need nightmare any AC. house. It would be really cool. <laughs> It'd be really cool. Yeah, no central AC needed because it sunk into the earth. And then the last house we showed her was the Smoky Hose house. Mm. And Where they're like, someone was in here and they chain smoke so much. So much. You have to legally replace all the drywall. Literally the, the wall. Because the smoke is in the wall. And we were really close to buying We were that. so close. And then she just said, you know, I don't think you're... Because we're like, we'll just air the house out. She said, I don't think you'll be able to breathe. And <laughs> my grandkids will definitely have some sort of lung dysfunction. So... 
So maybe we could do a different house. This house, you'll be trapped in in the winter. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, you'll never get the stink of oh. whatever they're smoking in this ever, ever, ever out. Oh my God, but the real estate agent was late. So it was the woman who owned the house there. And she's like, oh, come in, honey, let me show you around. And she was this old smoky hoe. Old smoky hoe. Biggest pistol, chain smoke. And let me tell you about the chandelier. It's going with me. Okay, <laughs> so it's not coming with the house. No, I'm taking it. But stand here and let me tell you a 15 minute story about the, sh about the chandelier. And she kept talking about all the things that didn't come with the house. I'm taking this. She just I'm walked through the house. This. See this tile window? I'm taking, I'm taking it with me. <laughs> let me tell you why. My son, 17 years ago, put in lead and like had this old story. Stories about but she talked everything. like, I was like, are you going to start smoking out of your hole in your neck? Like, what is going on? And remember, so she was a hundred, she was hyperthyroid. Thyroidism personified. Eyes a hundred, popped out. Eyes popping out, 100 pounds soaking wet. Yeah. And then she had these two sons that were seven feet tall. Big, wet, wet, <laughs> wet sons and a wet husband. Who didn't speak with, and two of them were speak. sitting at the kitchen table, Just but we staring. didn't notice because they literally, there were her son <laughs> and her husband who sat at the kitchen table. Who looked identical. I don't know which one was the son and which one was the husband. Some, somehow they were the same age. <laughs> the same. But one fathered the other one. We're like, I have questions, but you both scare me. And they sat there. They did not move. Didn't move. Didn't speak. And we had been next to them touring the kitchen. And then one of them coughed. And I turned. I'm like, have you been here the whole time? <laughs> Just mouths open, wet, sweating. She's like, yeah, these are my sons. And they're like, I'm like, are you alive? Blink if you need help. They both had enough neck fat on the back where you could you could probably grab them like and, a sharpe. You yeah. could just put a whole hand in there. Yeah, I think the mom just grabbed the back of their neck and carried them around like yes. a little kitten or something. Yeah, absolutely, that happened. And you could audibly hear them breathe. Yeah. And I'm like, look at this backyard. <laughs> yeah. We had to keep going to the backyard because we'd be in the house and we're like, okay, we can't stay and breathe in here for more than five minutes. So can we take a break? And she kept bringing us out to the backyard because we we're like, oh my God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, we'll air it out. We'll air it out. It's this square footage. Backyard. Oh it's my God. It's like a whole acre. <laughs> this is lovely. I don't care that I just need to knock down every wall. And then I love the real estate agents who are like, well, we're really looking for a three bedroom. This is a two bedroom. Like, you just build on. It's you like, just build on. Is this your money? Like, <laughs> that way. Yeah, they all did that. They're, They're like, like, oh, did you want an open kitchen? Just knock this wall out. And I'm like, bitch, we can't hang a shelf. Like, oh, we really wanted a big backyard. Oh, you just dig into the earth, <laughs> create a cave. You don't you don't need a backyard. Your neighbor <laughs> down the street has a really backyard. They're very nice to let you nice. use it. You're like, no, that's not a thing. That's not the a thing. The suggestions the real estate agents had. They're like, okay, so we know you need to be in this school district, but just like realign the property and put it in a different town. And the, do you know you can move? One of them said, do you know you can actually buy a property and have it legally move? Like you can lift it. <laughs> She's like, if you want to be in Westford, buy yeah. in Littleton, and then you just hire a company to move the house. All you have to do is buy land. I'm like, you want me to jack up a house, which you actually did once, and you moved a goddamn house. It like, did go well. Yeah. Like, oh, buy a $100,000 house and spend $400,000. Moving it. Moving it. Sure. That, sure. that makes complete sense. Thank you. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you so much. The, and uh, the, the house that we were gifted with that was the giving tree the, the greatest house in god. the world that i will never never be able to say thank you to the universe enough for god went you crazy bitches you're gonna kill yourself <laughs> here's the most fantastic house then little baby jesus oh, went little sweet sweet little baby jesus I oh went, dear little baby jesus this dear little, sweet sweet little sweet baby little baby. Dear little baby jesus <laughs> little baby jesus dear tiny jesus so worried about my future grandchildren, I'm questioning raising you. So these idiots are these gonna idiots. buy a circus tent in the field. <laughs> like they're idiots. 
They got a tea. They're worried about a tiki bar. What the fuck is wrong this with you? This bitch. She's like, look, there's a mural. And she's like, it's paint. You can paint any house. And I'm like, but this one has a jungle theme. This one is little jungle animals. It's also from lead based paint. It'll kill you. So please don't do that. Oh, honey, you'll just be trapped here for three months out of the year <laughs> with a baby. Do you know what the scary thing is? We both passed the real estate exam thing and had done Yeah, oh, that's right. Houses. Yeah, that's right. We both did have real estate license. Yeah, for a hot second. Look how beautiful that little house is. I, we're going to all of this. With an old bike in the front? Oh, I fucking love this. Oh, we're going to go to... They've got silos. They've got a purple bus that looks like you do acid on it. We're going to go do acid and hang out in that silo. Oh, my God. Bye.